Hello guys and welcome back to more in Bruges on the Fast Nines YouTube channel. Continuing the Circle of Bruges Circle of Bruges save on Football Manager 2015. It's hard to say Circle of Bruges save. There you go. I ended up saying shave in the first take. Um, so yeah, today uh, we've got a Belgian Cup game for you. So a little bit different, bit of a change of focus from the league. We're against Ghent, who uh, won the league in real life for this past season. At the moment in the Pro League, they're fourth. So we'll see how we do today. We're at home, so that's a bit of, a bit of an advantage, but we'll see how we do. I think Fraps will be running a lot, lot better because uh, I've changed it so that it's now recording it to my external hard drive. And it seems to be running better. We'll see what happens when we get to an actual game. But we'll have a look. Uh, so let's play, let's look at the games we played off screen. So at the moment, as you can see, after eight games, we've won six and we've drawn two. And our goal difference is plus 15, which is very, very good. And, uh, well, with uh, ten games in the first period, there's only two games left and we're four points clear. So if we get a victory in uh, one of the... Well, well, if we get two points out of a possible six uh, in the last two get in the next two games... Then uh, we win the period, and it also it, um, automatically qualifies us into the promotion playoffs. So that'd be great. But the ultimate goal is to win the whole thing. So I want to try and finish top all together. But if we win the first period, that'll be great. So we'll see how we do with that. Uh, so let's look at the games off screen. Then we did very very well in the four games we played off screen. Our last live com, we had a home draw, one one against Antwerp. So let's go through the off screen games. Patro Eisden home game. Um, this was postponed because of a cup game, and we played it here. Uh, we won four 0 Very nice victory. You know, nice and routine. We dominated play. Um, they had a fair few shots, Eisden, but no highlights of any note. Really, we had all the highlights in this game. Bart Boisa, thirty-third minute goal. Uh, Cabanga scored his first of two in the fortieth minute. Viola scored on forty-two minutes. So we went into the halftime three 0 up. Cabanga added his second of the game seven minutes from time. So it was a very nice win, very good performance. I was really impressed, really, really good. They were run three in a lot home. This was against Rosalie, who are actually local rivals of ours. I didn't know that, but um, they are local rivals. Uh, and I think it showed because they were very, very physical with us. And as you can see, they went down to eight men in this match. They had three red cards, um, and four of the four of those players booked did get second red, second yellow cards. Impens, Provost, and Tom Race all got sent off. Uh, we went into halftime 1-0 up. Kabanga with a 42-minute goal. Uh, De Haney scored a second-half brace within 12 minutes of each other. So it was a nice win here. Uh, came at a bit of a price, though. Kabanga did take a knock. And uh, Martin Martins took a knock as well. So um, we did lose um, a couple of players in this one. But um, we came out 3-0 winners. Uh, then we were away from home against Nagil. And we won 4-1. Uh, had, had to have a bit of a change of formation in this one because of injuries and stuff. Um, we did go ahead, uh, Richard Sukuta Pazu, who I'm just going to be calling maybe Sukuta from now on, because it's quite a long name. But uh, he put us ahead, 24th minute. Uh, but Gil did equalise on the half hour mark on Wukulu, 30th minute. Uh, and then we did go ahead again before half time, Viola, of course the lonely from Lisbon, made it 2-1. Uh, and then in the second half, Paris Haroon scored, 56th minute, and then 6 minutes after that, Steph Wheel scored with a free kick. And it was a 4-1 win away from home, good stuff. And then the last game we were against, um, I don't know if that's Coxside or Coxseed, um, I'm not sure. But um, we won this 3-1, uh, three goals in the first half. Steph Wills with another goal, this time from a set piece. Uh, early injury though to uh, Sukuta Pazu, he had to come off. And we brought on Verkandir in his place, who scored in the 38th minute, but he still carried a knock and he is now injured as well. And then Valentin Viola scored uh, on the first minute of injury time in the first half. Made it 3-0. And uh, Coxside did uh, get a late consolation goal. Three minutes from time, Karel Tournier scored and it ended 3-1. So there's a the game's off screen. We're facing AA again today. After this, I don't know what we'll do. We'll see who we get in draws and stuff. Uh, I did. I made one more signing. I got in a free transfer. Vladislav Gevlik from... Uh, he's a Ukrainian. He was a free agent, actually. He was released by Sevastopol. Uh, he's a right back, so we do have a bit of a backup uh, defender there now. I say currently, you know, he's he's still young, but he's got pl plenty of potential. So I, I'm, I'm I like where this player is going. Um, not very hasn't got really one stat that stands out. I mean, his highest attribute is 14 for teamwork. A lot of 13s in the physical front, but uh, he's only 20 years old, so they will improve with time, I'm sure. So we'll see how this guy does. Hope I'm hoping that he does okay. But he really, he's sort of he's back up to Cornelis really. So we'll see how he does. 
So let's move on to today's game then. We're against AA again. Let's uh, get on with it. So uh, that is the, st the uh, formation that they are playing. Uh, we're going to stick with this formation. I think we have a few injuries in the squad, so let's go through those quickly. So as I said, Verkindir took a knock in that match where he scored. Uh, twisted ankle, he's going to be out for a few weeks yet. Uh, Jonas Ivans is uh, double hernia. He's up for four to six weeks. Uh, Kabanga took a knock where well, he's injured. He c could play, but he's still going to be he's, he's not up to scratch. And uh, the young Kane Appeal is out with a back strain. He's going to be out for about five to ten days more. So uh, I'm going to make a few changes with this one. I'm going to put Valka on the bench in place of the injured Verkindir. Uh, and I'm going to uh, put Diwale on for Van Damme. And we'll actually put Van Damme in goal for this one. We'll give Gatsuniga uh, a rest. And we'll try a different goalkeeper in the Cups. So that's what I like to do. I like to try and play the other goalkeeper in my uh, other competitions. So domestic Cups. We're not in Europe. But if we were in Europe then he'd play in that as well. So let's go on with it. It's running a lot quicker it seems. So I'm happy with this. Uh, here is Valentin Viola going down the right hand side. I want to I try and speed it up a bit actually. Move it up to there. Because it goes a bit slowly sometimes. So let's see if we can make it run a bit quicker. Uh, nothing came from the kickoff really. No highlight from it. And uh, Ghent have an early injury here. So we can hopefully take advantage of this. We're on counter structure at the moment. We'll see, that might change in time. But we haven't had a shot yet. So we might have to change something in a minute. And here's Dehaene. And they've won the ball here. And Richard Zakuta Pazu is going to chase the ball here. But he doesn't do so. And... Again, start again from the back. Here's Simon. Or Simon, probably. That's how you say it. Herrera. To Dejagir. Here's Kimenez. And he scored. Not a good start. I mean, we haven't had a shot yet. Let's try and control the game. I mean, we're only 20 minutes in. But obviously, something needs changing. Because we haven't had a single shot. And we've only passed. Completed about two-thirds of our total passes. So, I think some changes need to be made. Uh, we've got a corner here, though. Can we get something from this? No, it's headed away by Gershon. Here's Herrera. And here's Neto. And again, again, breaking from the set play. And here's Simon. It gets a cross away. And, well, the defenders didn't deal with it. Bar Boyce didn't deal with it. And Yusuf has put them 2-0 ahead. And this isn't going very well so far. Again, we haven't had a single shot yet. And now Martins has taken a knock. So this isn't a good start. This is going very badly. I need to take Martins off. Um, so we'll have to put on Baselic Gergic in his place. The only other central attacking midfielder we have, really. So that needs to be changed. This is a very bad first half. This is awful. Not good enough at all. Uh, show me something else in the second half. Uh, I think we need to go a certain and say that everyone... I'm unhappy with everybody there, but... No one seems to care. Well, a few people in green, but that's not really great. Something needs to change. Let's try attack. I think we need to try and attack. We've we've had some shots now. We've had a half chance. And they just scored again. That's 3-0. Herrera. This is really bad. I mean, in the league, we're doing very, very well. But this is really bad. Here's Dehena. Can we try and... Get something out of this. Come on. Suku to Pazu. Right. Viola's in. Come on. Come on. Score. Oh, good save. A goal kick. I thought that was a save. It didn't. It hit the post. When it's Something needs to change here. What is going on with this? Um, Right. We're staying attacking. What am I going to do? Maybe it's their formation. is just too much for us. Right. Let's move Gergic to the left. And let's... Uh, Drop another guy into defensive midfield. Another Van Acker. Let's try that. Maybe we just need an extra man in midfield. Here's Dejega to Politanovic. To Dejegir again. And well won there by Steph Wheels. He's on a yellow. Needs to be careful. But that was a well won ball. Here's Yusuf again. Politanovic. And again at the moment are relentless. Jimenez, Herrera, Simon, 4-0. Oh, dearie me. This is terrible stuff. Oh, no, it's offside. This has been awful. We've played an hour now. And we've had we've had a chance. We've hit the post. But other than that, this game's pretty terrible. We've got a throw in here, though. Here's Suku to Pazu. Cornelis to Viola. Van Acker, goal, finally. 
Oh, do you know something? Uh, tomorrow, Monday, my brother, my parents are going on holiday without me for the first time, and I could not be happier because it means that I can do a week. I've got two weeks in the house all to myself. I can record videos and I can't be interrupted. Thank fuck. And I've got to go back. So, uh, is this the start of uh, an amazing comeback? Let's see. Cornelis from the cross. Viola. Van Acker. Yes, nice stuff. Is this the start of an amazing comeback? Let's hope so. 76 minutes play. We're running out of time, though. Uh, overload. We've got two, 12 minutes to get two goals to force. I'm guessing extra time. I don't know if it's replays or not. De Jager. Right, it's cleared away. Good stuff. I'm running out of time. I'm running out of time. Have we got one more change? I think we have. Doesn't matter, it's going, it's going to go to full time. Cornelis to India. Haroon. Herrera. No, running out of time. This It's going to be 3 1. We're going to be knocked out of the Belgian Cup. Damn. That was a bad, bad game. Far from pleased with what I just saw from the team. There we go. They don't seem to be listening to our team talks very much. Not as much as they have previously, which is annoying. So um, we're out of the Belgian Cup. That sucks. So we just have the league. That is all we have now. Uh, who else did what? So, well, all the favourites went through, really. All the prem. So all the teams that went through were uh, pro league teams. So uh, yeah, that's that. Given the manner in which we lost, it wasn't good enough. Don't think anything radical is necessary. That was our first competitive defeat. That's brought us back back to earth. Poor performance and the poor result. He had a good game, unfortunately for us. There we go. Right, let's continue. Let's move on to the next day, and then we'll see what we've got coming up. So it, we just have the league to focus on now. So this is sorry, I burped there mid sentence. Lack of first team football. You just started that game. Lack of first team football. You've had five league appearances. You played in a lot of the games. You've had plenty of opportunity. There's a lot of football still to be played. There we go. I'll say that. He has been playing though. So I don't know what his problem is. So, yeah, I think this might be a bit short. Like, a season might not take as much time because there's only league games to play. And there's less teams in the league as well as in, you know, other saves that I've done. Roll on tomorrow. House to myself. Come on. Right, okay, right. All right I'm going to stop I'm gonna stop moaning now. Let's just get on with wrapping up the episode. Okay, so, yeah, we're out of the cup. Um, and, yeah, looking at this now, we only have league games left. That's the only focus there is now. So, when are we going to revisit this? I like doing four games off screen. I think it seems to work quite well. And since this is all we have left. So if we go Lommel. Lommel that'll leave us Brussels again. So looking at this. I think if we try and do maybe four or five games in between live ones. Then uh, I think we should do something like that. So our next one will probably be Lommel. And then, but then that would let, leave it on the same path as we were on so that would make it brussels and then antwerp which we already did so uh, i think we'll try and do it differently and we'll try and p put five in between there we'll get eisden and then Giel, and then sarang and then the last one and that would be it really so yeah um so this will probably be you know it'll probably take less time to do a season because there's only two tr two competitions unless we get into europe which will take a while because we're in the second tier so yeah um, that's going to do it for today's video, though. It was a bit mad, this one. At least it seems I seem to have fixed the frame rate, though, so that helps, I think. Uh, but that's that'll do it for today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.